We'll see how this goes. All right, so it's you, Mark. Unless we lost Mark along the way. I don't hear him. Damn it. Sorry, can you guys hear me now? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we can hear you. Okay. I don't know why it shut off, but it did. Okay. You're relaxing at the, the mansion when suddenly the TV blares to light and everyone's favorite anti superhero reporter, <laughs> Miller Kensington, comes on. <laughs> to announce that once again the unlawful vigilantes have drawn problems to the city in the form of a giant machine being run by a madman who is attempting to blackmail the town into making him its ruler and of course you see Mentalo on top talking about how pitiful the city is and even its greatest scientists are no match for him it, it, okay, so this is not a recording of what happened before when he built a machine and came after no, us. This, no, this, this is currently. <laughs> you can see he's he's on top of another machine that's got some he sort of glowing machine. field around it. <laughs> and he loves to shield them with stuff, yeah. We remember that. My geological fault enhancer slash creator will destroy the city <laughs> unless I get what I want. <laughs> Uh, that's you definitely see, something we can't allow. He has a, a, you can see several burning cop cars. You can see several of his minions with their laser rifles out, of course. Yeah, those little uh, laser rifles that just bounce off me. <laughs> Basically. <clears throat> well, yeah, and, and uh, Durham. And so, so what's this, uh, what's this guy's name again? Mackenzie something? Miller Kensington. Uh, Miller, Miller Kensington. Miller Kensington. It's my Miller favorite again, reporter. Once again, I must report that the super vigilantes have done nothing but cause problems. They need to be in some sort of special cell. <laughs> this informational program does not seem accurate. <laughs> He's always mm -hmm. had us out. He's always had it out for us. That's for sure. We're not getting any good press out of this, no matter how many people we save. I think he's working with Mentalo. <laughs> it's a possible. It's something to look into. Especially disgraceful are Red Knight and Starfield. <laughs> <laughs> These two have caused the most damage throughout the city of anyone. Hey, they can bill me. <laughs> Uh, uh, can we identify the area in which uh, he is in that, that we could therefore? Uh, yeah, it's on the outskirts quickly. of the city. Not a good All thing. Right. Um, so we have to look at how people uh can get there. Obviously, Kestrel is incredibly fast. He can move at what two hundred fifty miles an hour or something like that. Although we've lost, although the. Oh, man. I'm sorry, guys. We're having furnace trouble in my house. So, oh, that sucks. yeah, he can run real fast. You get, you can run him for a second. Go okay. ahead. I trust he's got. All right. So we've got. Uh, and Red Knight can fly, but I don't think Starfield has got that ability or anything like that. Correct? No. Or Durham. Nope. Or Illuminix. He's mm -hmm. got a. He's got to jump on a boat to get to the fight. It's interesting because two people, I mean, well, yeah, technically I could carry one if need be, but we might just have to jump into one of the, one of our vehicles and take it um, something I've got stashed at the lair. So probably it's some kind of delivery uh, vehicle. Let's hop in that and go because we don't have enough people. Rich as you are, you should be having a damn helicopter. <laughs> I just don't want to get shot out of the air. <laughs> I was going to say, Mentalo. <laughs> Excellent! They that. came in a helicopter! This makes it so easy. It would be like a quasar cannon versus one of the uh, drop ships <laughs> in Helldivers 2 right there. We'd spin out and down we go. 
Won't, won't, won't. Hop in the minivan. <laughs> so, so we get into the uh, into our uh, secreted van that we can uh, park a block away or whatever we have to and unload out of that and uh, head to the vicinity. Does it look like we'll uh, we'll also put up inside the vehicle um, phones or whatever we need to to monitor the situation, uh, see exactly what's going down with him, or is Mentallo look like he's? I mean, obviously he's challenging the city. But is he looking like he's looking for a fight with anybody else? So he's kind of holding on at the moment. Uh, it looks like he may be waiting on you. <laughs> <laughs> right. He wants a fight. Yeah, because he got shown up the last time we fought. All right. Can we come up with any kind of plan when we hit this guy? So the last time we fought him, we know that he had yeah, uh, force I mean, he, field. He had, yeah, yeah, he had some kind of destructor ray, not something that would, you know, cause faulting quakes, but he also had a shield and Kestrel was able to vibrate through the shield um, using his super speed. But Mentallo, being as smart as he is, we're assuming he's not going to be able to do that again. He will have somehow, you know, calculated the wavelength that Kestrel used to get in. And he had uh, anybody else got any ideas to get inside this uh this way why we have to deal with a his guys with lasers and b we didn't take out any of his uh heavier super minions which will probably show up again yeah, we tried uh, yeah but he was well, able to get away with them well and so what is this quote-unquote machine that he's on i mean do we see like obvious weaponry no it, it's just seemed it's humming real loud but that's all you can really tell from the it's just like a big box yeah so what's, how tall? I mean, yeah, what size is it? Uh, it's really long, but it's really short in height. He's standing atop of it. It's probably about oh, fifteen feet long, twenty feet long, somewhere around there. And so, then how high? And then probably about four foot high, from what you can see. If we can get him over like a manhole, we can come up from underneath. Well, it's, is it moving? It's not or is moving. It like, no, it's is it, yeah. Is it like jacked into the ground? Right, like it's, it's, right. He's got. You can see there's actual like pylons that he's driven into the ground on each side of it. But but for the most part, it looks like it's just like a smooth box, nothing that stands right. out. Hmm. Again, we attacked the power cabling of the last one, so he's figured out not to do that again. <laughs> see, he does learn. He is he is smart <laughs> in that fashion. <laughs> And I mean, we don't see any visible field around him? No. Uh, you do see, like I said, you do see several burning cop cars, but it looks like they were taken out by the minions. And their lasers? Them. Yeah. My sun sliver blade uh, lets me travel to the plane of light. So I might be able to travel into the plane, then go to the other side of the field. Yeah rematerialize and then take him out there as long as everybody else could take out the rest of the minions sounds like fun well yeah i can definitely take out minions just watch out for meteor we know that he is uh definitely someone that runs with mentallo and that metal freak yeah i don't remember the metal guy's name <laughs> He wasn't important enough. All right. And to, and so I guess one. we'll pull well, up. I have to figure it out when we hit the ground. Right. We'll pull up a couple blocks away. Let's move in from a couple a couple sides. Try to flank him. And uh, I mean, he's not one to necessarily talk with, but I suppose I could say something to him. Oh, he can't ah, wait. He can't my wait guests to have arrived. He looks right at you. <laughs> when what, when does he look right at us? Right as you're walking after you get out of the minivan and start walking towards him, he looks right at you. At me, like Red Knight, me? Yeah, or at yeah. The group? Right. At, at the whole group, actually. Okay. He may have this whole area camera too. No, oh, probably. We could have a satellite on us for all we know. He is Mentallo. 
<clears throat> well, Mentallo, it looks like you're uh, signed up for another beating this week. Fool! You are no match for my intelligence. That's what you said I have prepared time. for you this time. I know your tricks, Red Knight. <laughs> Do you? I Indeed. guess we'll figure. <laughs> and I have a special guest for you, my friend. <laughs> oh, really? And who's that? Well, not necessarily for you, for your friends. <laughs> Meteor. Right. Whoa, me lands from. He was flying from somewhere up above. And Chromium Saber. <laughs> There's Chromium Saber. That's him. His arms turn into blades. As his skin turns into cr liquid chromium. Chrome don't back for a beating. <laughs> can, can we see how many yeah. of his laser minions are hanging around here? There appear to be t ten of them. And are there currently any uh, anyone in the public that is in any kind of jeopardy at this time, or have the police been able to clear the area? Uh, the police appear to have cleared the civilians out, although there are several several weird uh, marks around the 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 area that you're in. What does that mean? Uh, they don't look like burn marks. They look like something else was there. Uh, just darkened ground that like gives you people, a bad feeling. People have been evaporated there by laser strikes or something. Uh, uh, vaporized. And right. my newest friend, Galley Wasp. Galley Wasp. Galley what? Uh, I'm... <laughs> okay, well, we're going to make fun face. of your name all night, Galley Wasp. <laughs> Galley Wasp. <laughs> to for Jobby son sent me. Oh, no. A comb for Johnny. <laughs> you can see he he looks like a normal guy until he, he makes a move, and then all of a sudden he's covered in scales, and you can see he's got long claws that are dripping some kind of black ichor. Uh, that's anybody immune to poison that we know of? I'm a robot. <laughs> yeah, he's a robot. That, that's true. A robot is. You, you might want to deal with Cali Watts. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you were mocking Galley Wasp before, but you ain't laughing now, are you? <laughs> I will laugh. Ha, 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 ha. Did I get that right? <laughs> Someone yeah, fill me yes. in real quick. What happened? I got the I got the heater working again. Uh, he has secured the area. It looks like uh, the civilian population has been moved away by the police. And... Um, he has introduced his cadre of uh, super thugs, that being Meteor, who hit the ground, Chromium Saber, who we fought before, and then this new guy, uh, Galois. Yeah. And then we're, he's on this machine that's, what was it, 20 feet long, four feet high? Yeah. No, no visible um, points of... Uh, like weaponry or anything. Yeah. It, it, you know how we grab like uh cabling off his other one and tore it up there's none of that available it's like a um i don't know like a big rectangle i guess of polished steel with with pylons that go in the ground and he's standing atop it see, it does have an energy his shield. fingers and the whole ground starts shaking great see but no no visible it has begun <laughs> no visible what weaknesses weak points on this thing is that the idea that's the idea and he's got the shield up again and we're making the assumption that he's smart enough to have stopped your uh vibration uh synergy that you used to pass through the shield last time right uh, but that we don't know that that's true but that is the case so i guess we have to take some kind of uh action against him my first act well i get, do we want to roll for a knit what are we doing here I shall give you all an option of surrendering to me. <laughs> as I am, after all, a noble being. Not today, Mentallo. Not today. Uh, you can see the rifle that he has on him is, looks different from, than the one he had before. 
Oh, I thought he had a pistol last time. I think he's upgraded uh, to a rifle. Yeah, he did have a pistol last time. You're right. <laughs> so it does look different. But yeah, now he's got a rifle. And it's very strange looking. Um, is he inside a shield? Oh yes. yeah. He's standing he's on, top on top of the, of the machine. That's inside a sh- inside the shield, yeah. Your tricks won't work this time, Kestrel. <laughs> Fool! <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got nothing. <laughs> I just sort All of right, tip right. my head like like Kestrel's head just sort of rotates on his neck, but way like a like a golden retriever, but like way more than a human could do. So it's like almost a hundred, like almost ninety degrees. <laughs> All right, we we've got our plan. I'm gonna try to phase <laughs> in. I'm trying to try to go through uh, the plane of light to get in there and i guess everyone else can engage unless you have some better, other idea of of taking on the situation now that you've seen it firsthand well i'm going to take on meteor okay meteor I, I will look for weaknesses in this scaled thing does that sound <laughs> right <laughs> yeah that's great how do we spell galliwas galliwas galliwasp yeah, it's oh, wow. it's a type of lizard that lives in Jamaica. <laughs> I've are never heard do, Are you going to do a semi-offensive accent? <laughs> G-A-L-L-I-W-A-S-P. And that's my offensive accent. Thank you very much. <laughs> Galley wasp. The for Ashanti be bringing the pain. Oh yeah! Right. Look, look at that little thing. He's not so intimidating. All right. Uh, do we want to, do we want to go for a knit? Yeah, I win. I <laughs> win. Okay. The galley. Ooh, fifteen for Kestro. Wow, he's moving fast. Yeah, that's his that's his bag. Scott, what I have on, on the sheet you sent me, it's got a light attack and a medium attack. What is the I assume the light attack is like punchy punchy. What's the medium? Uh that you're changing the you see how you've got the blade on your uh hand in your picture? Yeah. Yeah, you're you're basically forming a medium uh melee weapon. weapon okay, that. gotcha. So, yeah, you can either attack twice with your light or once with your medium. Gotcha. Stacy, what was your character's name again? Uh, Illuminix. Illuminix, okay. And so with my powers, um, like I said, I've I'd done the superheroes thing once. Are these always active? Yeah, the only thing that wouldn't be active would be using your CCV my, to cause extra damage. But yeah. Gotcha. But not okay. Illuminix, cosmic power. Yeah, or Illuminix uh, doing a stun or something like that. She would have to use CCV. And then Red Knight has to channel CCV uh, to use the powers of his blade. So, yeah, there are certain things that don't always active, but most of the stuff is. Gotcha. All right, I need a knit from everyone other than Kestrel since I've already got his written down. Uh, I got an 11 for Starfield. And and for eight. I got an eight for Red Knight. Durham? Eight. All right. So, Kestrel, you're going first there, buddy. What are you going to do? I'm going to s- slide in and see if I can um, put put my blade right through um galley wasp right like so i'm just gonna it's like so fast i basically just like you see the, the see me blur and then i'm right in front of him and i just drive that medium blade right into his into his uh solar plexus and to do that i roll a dice and i get an eight plus what you don't plus anything with it you're you're going it's his dt which is three okay because of his scales Right, so you're you're going off your melee, whatever your melee attack is. Melee attack is eight, and I rolled an eight. 
So and he's got three DT, so you missed. <laughs> it oh. goes on heavy scales, and yeah, that's the end of that. Oh, so because I, I needed a five. Oh, yeah, that's correct. You'll be in big trouble now. <laughs> Uh, next up is Luminix at 12. All right. Let's see. So we've got, what, three three guys? Three, three guys, guys plus 10 minions with yeah, laser they're, rifles. They're using yeah. laser rifles, so they're not going to be fun if you get hit by one. I can. No. I can All right. I'll go after some minions then. And you can throw up multiple targets if you've got that. I mean, if you get two attacks, you can throw two of the the light crucifixes out or the light crosses. Okay. One well, and you have two. Yeah. Uh let's just do I think I'm just gonna target one, kind of get okay. a feel for how how they're yeah. <laughs> how they're doing. You'll all be crushed by Mentalo's genius. <laughs> okay. I rolled a two, so I'm going to just assume that hits. Yes it does. <laughs> all right. And that was a First attack was a four, and the second was a two. To hit. Yeah. That was the, for damage. Oh, okay. Oh. So I guess I need to do. I, I need to roll twice, right? Because I have two attacks. I need to see if I hit twice. Yeah, yeah. and then then you okay. have to roll the damage out. Yeah, but I mean the damage okay, is okay, okay, okay. it's taken separately, so you can roll it one at a time. But yes, right. Well, I rolled a nine on the second attack, so the first one hits, the second one does not. And what is the damage from the first one? Uh, five. So, yeah, and that you've got your ads, right? Whatever her, I don't know I what don't her. No. No. <laughs> so, I mean, I think on your on your sheet you've got. I'm just trying to see if I can find a copy of the sheet. I got it here. Uh, plus three damage. Yeah, there you go. So, eight. There you go, eight. Wounded one. Hey. <laughs> uh, be able to hit him twice. Those things hurt. Kill her. <laughs> Kill her. <laughs> Kill her. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Those things hurt. Kill her. Next up is Starfield at 11. All right, I'm going to go blasting into Meteor. <laughs> He's waiting here's a, on here's you. A, Mark, here's a question for you. Do the Do the minions with the lasers have a DT? Yes, two. Okay, just want to make sure. Because of the way. armor plating that uh, Mentello has built for them. <laughs> They're tougher than last time, yeah. Yes. All right. He he upped the game on everything. <laughs> okay, so here comes two fists in Meteor's face. You picked the wrong side, Meteor. <laughs> I three. will kill you, Starfield. Three is probably going to hit. There can only be only one ruler from the skies. And a five, unless he's got a four DT, that, that's two hits. Uh, nope, he's only got a three, so you hit both times. Okay, so this plus two. 17 and eight is 25, 27 points. Is that, you, you don't add them together. Is that just no, that's, one hit? That's just one hit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Knocked him back. And yeah, that's but, but you see a purple purple uh, aura starts surrounding him after you hit him. Yeah, he gets angry and then gets tougher. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, man, I did it again. Uh, no, 6, 8, and 8. 8, 8, 16, 24, 26 points. You can't, you're, you know your damage is only 2 day 10, though. It says plus one D10 for my super strength. Right, but that's added into your damage down below. It's already put in. Oh, you let me re -roll. For, one D10 for okay. basic. So let so me, yeah, so. me re-roll. So the first yeah. roll is uh, 16. There you go. Bounces off meteors. And the second one is Solar less than 16. Energy. Bam, bam. You hit him twice, but he just shakes it off. <clears throat> Now I'm going to mess you up. I'm going to do the same thing. <laughs> okay, next up is them at 10. Mentallo. Let's see who he's going to shoot. He's got five possible targets. 
And he's shooting Durham. Lucky you. Taste my subatomic deletion rifle. <laughs> subatomic <laughs> deletion? That doesn't sound fun. No. He got a two, which will hit you. I assume. What's your DT? Three. Yeah, he easily hits you. Uh, you need to make a physical save at minus one. Let's see here. Physical save. So, yeah, eight or less. <clears throat> With a one, so. You feel yourself very shaken, but nothing happens, luckily, for to you. You didn't get subatomically destabilized. Yeah. <laughs> No, it does. It it's a nasty weapon. Uh, next up is Meteor against Brent. Oh. <laughs> Starfield. I have a gift for you, Starfield. It's called a fist. Yeah. <laughs> uh, three. What's your DT? DT is two. So he hit you. Boom. And he does. 16 points. Uh, okay, Scott. So is my WT for my limited invulnerability already included in my WT? Yes. Then that's a wound. Bam! Suddenly he, he is much weaker than I thought he was. And miss. Because I'm like, man, he's attack. got like a 17 wound threshold. He's got like 3d10 damage. Yeah. No, it's already calculated. Next up is Chromium Blade, who immediately jumps on Durham. Die! Shock me, will ya? <laughs> Shock me. <laughs> uh, eight will miss you. But a four will hit you. And he does 20 points. You're going to have to do better than that, bud. <laughs> and then Galley Wasp against Kestrel looks at you and he goes, opens his mouth and spits something on you or at no. you. What's Gross. your DT? Uh, four. Four. He's tough to hit. Uh, he missed. You see, it hits the building and starts melting, and it looks like it's a. Uh, it's uh, some kind of really, really strong acid, like alien level acid. <laughs> God. Oh no, I do not want that. <laughs> Watch yourself, Kestrel. That's nasty. Indeed, I will be watching the acid. <laughs> okay, the first minion's shooting at Illuminix because she heard him and misses with an eight. Uh, the next one is going after Starfield. Going to tr try and shoot him in the back. Excuse me. Misses with an eight. Next uh -huh. one. Shoots at Kestrel. Got a one. But uh -oh. it got a nine, so it does not verify it. But he does still hit you. What? For 15 points. Uh, my wound threshold is nine, so that is one wound. <laughs> ah! uh, next one is shooting at Durham. Two, which I assume hits you. Yep. Uh, 25 points, max damage. Ooh. Nope. Maybe, maybe next time. <laughs> Man, I thought I was tough. <laughs> uh, Dur Durham's tough. He's tough. He's really hard to hurt. Uh, next up is going after Kestrel. Missed with a nine. Next one shoots at Durham. Gets a nine and misses. Next one shoots at Red Knight. Gets a seven and misses. And the last one shoots at Red Knight as well. And got a three, which probably will hit you. That does hit me, yeah. 
<clears throat> and uh, 17 points of damage. Doesn't hurt me. My armor absorbs it. <laughs> Next up is a tie between Red Knight and Durham. Who wants to go first? I'll let Red Knight go. All right, I'm going to take my action. Uh, I'm going to uh, leap to do my flying. That's 200. It's level medium, so it's 250 miles an hour. And I'm it, when I leap to do that, I'll disappear into the uh, plane of light and then reappear within inside the shield uh, next to Mentallo, I hope. Okay, I, you go if... flying forward and you slam into something. Make a physical save. <laughs> it was worth a try. Uh, I missed it. I got a 10. Okay, you're stunned for one round. You can see there's a black oh. barrier in the oh. realm of light that surrounds him. Nasty. <laughs> you hear Galley Wasp <laughs> laughing. The Comfo Ashanti already prepared for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. So we don't have any way to get to Mentallo, and he's already started his machine. That's not good. And I'm stunned around. Take my S1. All right. That's you, Durham. This, right. this fight isn't going well so far. How many guys are around me? Well, uh, there's just one. The only one on you is Chromium Saber. The other guys were shooting you from a distance. From a distance, right. okay. Yeah, well, I'll take two shots at oh, Chrome Dome. At Chromium Saber? Chrome Dome. <laughs> He's got a, a DT of four, so. Well, that's a one, so. You can't confirm. Three times a day. Bored. <laughs> no crit, so so that's one d ten plus three. This damage sucks. So that is a twelve. Nope, just shy. If you would have gotten a thirteen, you would have done it. That's that why you've got to do the. Uh, it, it's uh, that's why you had to use the electric last time. You know when you fought him. Yeah, that's a six to hit. So I missed him by one. <laughs> Fool. My chromium body is immune to your attacks. Uh, I'm not thrilled with our round. Nope. No. Next round is Kestrel at the top. So I kind of do like a quick scan of the of the machine. It, it's what's it sitting on? What is it doing? It looks like it's partially buried into the ground. But yeah. all you all you can really tell from it, I mean, it's totally just black plating on the outside. So, I wonder if you went from the ground up, <laughs> right? Like, uh... fools, you are fools, all of you. <laughs> um, you cannot stop Mentallo's plan. I don't. I don't know if I can dig. I can't see under the ground. Is there anyone who can see what's happening under that box? <laughs> Nope, not I. No. Sorry, Kestrel. My head's ringing a little bit right now. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna use my turn, Mark. You can tell me if I can do this or not. But I'm gonna use my turn to like, um, to sort of do that body shake thing. But I'm not going. I'm not trying to grow through the shield. I'm trying to like run underneath and see what's going on, like through the dirt and see what's going on underneath this machine. Um. You have to go down quite a while, so it'll take you a couple turns to do it. Oh, shit. I would also say to probably do it, you'd have to make like an athletics or something check yeah. to be able to move that fast within the ground. That's like breaking up atoms kind of thing. All right. Well, forget it. I'll just try to attack lizard face any again then. The galley wasp. So I come at him and get a one. Oh. One, one, one. And I confirm it with a one. Nice. Uh -oh. There we go. What you roll to see what I do, right? Nope. Uh, no. Nope. You, you you roll. Yeah. Scott, do oh. you have the the table the handy? Because okay. Oh, that's good. what I meant. The chart. Big yeah. money. But you have to roll on it to tell us what you get. Oh, oh, something. I'm sorry. Uh, seven. Yeah. Uh, seven is plus two d ten. Okay, so it's five d ten plus two. Seven wow. plus eight is 15 plus three is 18 plus seven is 25, 25. plus six is 
31 plus 233 damage to oh, yeah. Galley Wasp. Wow. Did how many? 33, you said? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so that's four wounds on him. Yes. Jeez. He's almost down, but not quite. Slick, 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 slick. <laughs> he wasn't expecting that. That big blade just comes in. Zap, 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 zap. To come for a jaunty, make you pay for that. Now who is the jerk chicken? Jerk? <laughs> <laughs> okay, after Kestrel. I'm learning. Is a Luminix. Luminix. All right. You got hmm. one guy pointing a gun at you. Well, all right. Once he got at me, I'm going to throw my daggers at him. And that is a one. No, that is an eight. I do not confirm. Still a hit. The second one is a seven, so I probably missed that one. E most likely. Uh, uh, well, yeah. maybe what, not. What's your uh... nine? No, you got yeah, him. you you got him. Okay, cool. All right, damage on the first hit is thirteen. Damage on the second hit. Oh, that that took him down right there. All right, so you can no throw the off. second one at a, a different person, yeah. Okay. Well, damage on that one was uh six, so <laughs> wasn't gonna do anything anyway. Uh, that still does wound on one. Oh, hey, good. Ah, goons. They aren't very tough. They just have Men <laughs> Mentallo's armor on them. <laughs> right. <I see. laughs> That's fair. Excuse me. Next up is Starfield at eleven. All right, let's try this again. So, let's see. What's wrong, Starfield? Looks like you're losing to Meteor. So now, so, now you look at your CCV and think, what can I do with that? Like, do so you... when when do I when I when do I add the CCV before the attack? So before if the attack, you miss, you miss, you blow it. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put five in this attack. Okay. Uh, five. That should do it. What's your uh, nine hand to hand? Then nine yes, you hit. Hand. Okay, so this is plus seven. Seven and seven is fourteen, and four is eighteen points. Nope, not enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm, not gonna, I'm never going to scratch this guy. He catches your <laughs> hand. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, second attack. Um, second attack. We'll push. Are you putting any points in it too? Let's put, let me see. What am I at? 12 minus oh. five is eight. Unless you push on the first seven. attack, can you push yeah, on you the second one? Yeah, you can't push on the you second You can't push one. on the second attack. Yeah, it, you can only do that oh. once. Yeah, it has to be, a, okay. it takes then, the entire range. Then just a straight hit. Okay. Uh, 10's going to miss anyways. All right. <laughs> he throws you off. <laughs> yeah, I'm never going to hurt this guy. Well, Scott had trouble with him last time. Yeah, he's tough. Uh, well, we had trouble with everybody, them. and they weren't, they weren't upgraded. I mean, it was not an easy battle in, the, in this nope. in Times Square. Mentello shoots at Kestrel. Take this robot. <laughs> One robot. Ugh. Nine does not confirm, but still hits. You need to make a physical save at minus one. Uh, four. Mine. So. I think you got six. Physical save six. Yeah. So I made it. No. Yep. Yeah, yeah. you made it. Yeah, you missed one. You five. So he takes nothing from that if he makes the yeah. save. Yeah, you you feel yourself shaken, but you don't feel. Mm. Oh. What is what kind of weapon are you using? I'm sure you want to tell us about it. <laughs> it's <laughs> really <laughs> probably does. Yeah, I already have once. you fool. My subatomic deletion rifle. It will delete you on the subatomic level. 
I'm sorry, I can't. No matter hear. how Perhaps powerful, you shut off your machine so that I can have a conversation. <laughs> nice try, fool. <laughs> A monologue really loses its point if no one can uh, hear you. <laughs> let's see. After him is Meteor. He's going to punch Brent. Yes, he is. Ten, he missed with that one. Nice. And a six. What's your DT? Two. Two. Bam! I'm going ahead and mark this He does 14 points with that hit. That was liberal. Yep. Yeah. Two wounds for Starfield. Yep. He's hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like today is the day I narrow it down to just me. <laughs> Who has cosmic power. Yep. Chromium Saber attempts to stab Durham. And gets a four, which will probably hit. And does 24 points, Joe. Nope. Galley Wasp <laughs> on his first attack. On his second attack, he gets a three. And uh, no, he does not. But... Uh... You draw him, were you? <laughs> no, I was just wondering if maybe uh, someone oh, could, you could <laughs> attack his tail. Uh, that's not going to be enough to hurt you. Clang, clang. Looks like I'm going to have to step up my game. People are going to have to start pushing. Mm-hmm. Uh, next up is Galley Wasp, who is at minus two because of the damage that Kistrel has done to him. <laughs> He's bleeding out. Bleeding considerably. He spits more acid out. And Ooh, this time he out. got a two. He's at minus two, so that's a four. What's your DT? Four. Eight. That will it? hit. Yeah. Uh, 23 points. Jesus, that's two wounds. Um, I will use fade. Can I use faded points? Yes. You can. Do you want me to roll it, Mark? Yeah, because yeah, otherwise yeah. I'll be at three wounds and I'll be like basically dead. So, yeah. Remember, there in this game, there is heroic recovery, but you probably don't want to use it unless you have to. What is uh, that? Four. Is that like a burn that's wound? Uh, no, it. It allows you to get a certain number of wounds back, um, depending on your level. Um, and but once and then, but you only have a certain number of minutes to fight afterwards, and then you collapse. Oh, uh, it's early yet. Ugh. Yeah, I use so, faded points. I have ten. Yeah, so use four. So okay. that attack does not hit you. Bless. <laughs> Uh, a disgusting creature uh, next <laughs> up are the minions first one's automatically shooting at a luminex since she wounded him take this nine missed uh, <laughs> <laughs> next one tries to shoot Kestrel in the back and misses with a seven. These guys aren't the greatest, as you can tell. Uh, next one shoots at Durham. And hit, but probably doesn't do enough damage. <laughs> Durham just shrugs 12, it off. 12 points. Whatever. Yeah, it just kind of bounces off him. Uh, next one. Once Kestrel. Misses trying, with an eight. Trying to help the uh, Jamaican. Yep. Next one wants the Red Knight. Misses with an eight. Next one wants Durham. Hits. Of course I hit Durham. Uh, 
Because he's 16, not trying to dodge. 16 points. He's, he's just sitting there walk. taking it. <laughs> They're bouncing off him. Shoot harder, you fools. <laughs> Aim for his weak points. <laughs> weak points. Uh, Red rock. Knight, he, he just got points. shot for 17 points. Nope, that, that's the same he did last time. My armor takes it. <laughs> Sheds that. And last one was for Kestrel. Hit. It oh. is 18 points. Oof. That's one wound. One and almost two. Almost two. <laughs> Kestrel's in I trouble. got him. I got him. <laughs> so am I minus now? I'm at two wounds. Yes, you're yes, minus, minus one. one. Okay. And they're still, they're still these. I mean, these minions are going to chew us up. I mean, there are nine of them, and they're doing two uh, d ten plus something. I mean, even yeah, it's that. That's a lot to take if you just have it, to. Get it's Red inside. Knight's turn. What are you going to do? Um. Well, I'm stunned, but I've got a question. Uh, yeah. My Sun Silver Blade uh, can spend. I can spend a CCV to heal a wound. Can I spend that CCV to get me out of stun? Yeah, probably. Okay, then I'll spend a CCV and get myself out of the stun. Dropping my Ugh. CCV. Okay. And I am going to um, fire two blasts of. Uh, plasma at uh two of the minions since i can't okay. get through the shield right now try to take so I'll, I'll shoot against the wounded one and a different one and i'll okay. also say to illuminix during this um when i tried to pass through illuminix when i tried to pass through the barrier there's some kind of black shield um it might be something you can pierce hmm. i'll give it a try uh so i'll fire my first one two and i did 11 points dropped That's him. Against the wound one. and then against a different one five i assume that's gonna hit yeah yeah i'm at seven so i barely hit actually if they've got two dt yep yeah my, ra my range is a little worse than my melee but i did hit and that's uh 12 points dropped him Ugh. all right Full minions do not fall for their <laughs> weak attacks. <laughs> All right, that's me. Durham. Yep, Durham. And we're just like on a sub suburb, right? Yeah. Right. And there's still six more guys. Seven. I Seven. just killed two. Or I would like to. Two, uh, I, I would like to grapple this uh, chrome dome. <laughs> I would like to buy a vowel, Alex. I can't right. remember how grapple works. So grapple, oh, grapple is it's unarmed, unarmed, uh, plus your level up to your unarmed. So which I don't think you're going to go over. No, uh, that's sixteen, uh, plus... and then plus a d10. And both of you get that. So I don't know if Chromium, if he's considered melee, he might not have unarmed. So he doesn't get his unarmed uh, if that's the case. So that that's the real drawback to that. Yeah, that's true. So that's 16. Do I add my physical at all? Uh, no, because that's no. considered added in okay. for your level. So, yeah. Ooh, nine. So that's a uh, 25. Okay, you grab hold of him. What are you doing, you fool? Release me at once. Are these uh these guys grouped up at all? Who the minions? Yeah, they're kind of scattered around. It takes you your round to grapple them, so you can't okay. throw them now. But you could throw them next round if that's what you're. That's the plan. For. Yeah. So I don't. So if Chromium doesn't have it, he's he goes as a um, naked attribute check. So it's Max. I already rolled. He failed. Yeah, I'm just saying. I didn't know if he had. Yeah. Yeah, he right. has hand to hand, but he doesn't. 
<laughs> he's not that Probably good. Not. He, he didn't roll that high on there. <laughs> <laughs> grabbed a hold of him. All right, and you've got him. He can't attack you if he's grabbed. Yep. Grappled, so you got that going for you too. Which is nice. <laughs> Which is nice. Uh, after you is top of the order, which is Kestrel. Um, all right. Well, the most logical thing to do seems to finish off this one so nobody gets acided. So I will try to attack this guy again. I get a three minus uh, one, so that we're so that makes a four. Yeah, you're good. So I'm good. That's a mean. I'll hit him with the medium attack again. So 3d10 plus two. Three and nine is 12. And another four is 16 plus two is 18. You put him down. He's on the ground unconscious. Yes. <laughs> Gully wasp. <laughs> Let's see if you can grow that head back. <laughs> <laughs> we don't kill our enemies, Kestrel. We lock them oh. up so they can get away again later. I will remember that for next time. <laughs> My bad. That seems illogical. Cool Steel has arrived. What? Who's Cool oh, Steel? Cool Steel did not just show up. Yes, he did. Oh, God. When his dead. eyes are wide open and you see his mouth is sewn shut. Is he Chrome, <laughs> Chromium Steel's boyfriend? <laughs> cool <laughs> he he's a he's a, a horrible gangster that's basically as tough as durham sweet anybody else getting the feeling that this is one of those like boss fights that you're not supposed to win and you get like disgusting <laughs> yeah, after you bit, die that's yeah. how it was last yep. time tpk <laughs> well, i'm, I'm feeling that right now what did red knight shout to illuminix about the box he might but, go well, get the, it, it was there was some kind of shadow barrier that was blocking me from getting in. I don't know if she can right. do anything about the shadow barrier, but it's I, she's got light, right? Power and if and 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 uh, Gully Wasp said it was something that his boss had created for him, which we know is the the voodoo guy. So it could be some kind of you know shadow energy that he's got that he brings back the dead with. So it might be perfect for her to take down i don't know that's the only one way to find out i'm like just the way spitballing you here i have no idea okay so it is luminix yeah all right i'm gonna turn try throwing my daggers towards Tintalo, seeing what happens try to pass and hit yeah, see if if they pass through anything. Or shadow. Uh, we're get, we're gonna try. You got roll to hit. Yep. There's no DT, so Okay. Anything other than a ten hits. Yeah, that's a six. So all right, first uh, I, 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 first I don't know, am I doing damage? <laughs> what am I doing? Well yeah, it, roll, it's roll, roll roll your damage. Okay, okay. So first one is six. Absolutely nothing. The second one, but Illuminix, you might want to put in a CCV and use your purge power, which is like blade. Okay. It basically destroys the darkness inside somebody's soul for a certain number of time. That might work against a necro shield. That's true. It's, I mean, if we're trying to bring down a shield, it's probably for the best that I put everything into it. Okay, and I don't so know how much that costs you. I think it's two. Two CCV. Let me see. Uh, I have stun and I have repent. Yeah, repent is two CCV. Yeah, that's what you want yeah. to do. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. Yeah. Um, So that second one was a. Does, does it add any damage or anything? Uh, okay, it's I, still plus five. Whatever you do normally with one of those daggers. Okay. Or was that your add? I can't remember. It was a plus. No, it was a three. 
So the second dagger was a 12. Okay, it's plus three, yeah. And it's got repent on it. Okay. You can see something happens. You're not sure what, but the shield seems to wa waver a bit. What? What's going on? <laughs> the question is, can I move through it this time, or is it still uh, up, but it's hurt? That's the question. Well. <laughs> hey, something worked. I'll take it. At, at this point in the battle, I'll take it. Starfield, it's your turn. Yeah. All right. Now, if you want to do a push now, you could add points to it and then go to town. I'm going to push and blow all the rest of my CCV. Which so that's is what? Eight. Two? eight. Oh, you didn't. Yeah, you didn't. Do, no, I, yeah. Yeah. You didn't. You didn't do any on the second attack last time. I remember. Okay. Here's the roll. It's a three. So that hits, and this plus what is that? Eight. So three so ten plus three d ten plus ten. Ten. Yeah. Oh, nice. Sixteen twenty one thirty one points. Ooh. And now I there's die. Some, there's some cosmic power. Uh, you actually did damage him <laughs> let's hope he doesn't look real happy after that as a matter of fact he looks pretty pissed and you see a purple aura going off of him so he's only going to get tougher that's that's the extent <laughs> of my cosmic power <laughs> i'm gonna tear you apart yes you are <laughs> next up is oh them. wait that's uh that's uh Coming to America, I'm going to tear you apart. <laughs> <laughs> and then Arsenio Hall spits the drink out. My name is Peaches because I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> Durham, you're getting shot by Mentello's beam again. Okay. Can What's he your, move, uh, uh, if he's in a grapple, <laughs> is it possible he hits Chromium Saber instead? <laughs> <laughs> if he misses if he misses yeah miss what's yes. your dt three uh he easily hits you uh make a save at minus two this minus time two, so i need a seven or less that is a six so i made it you feel yourself getting more shaken i wonder if every time it hits you it takes another negative that's nasty so you battery, eventually battery gonna increased the, you're eventually uh, going to get battery. disrupted yeah uh next up is meteor you dare to damage me oh i dare for that, <laughs> that starfield i will kill you <laughs> that's probably true uh What's your DT? My two. DT is two. Okay, he easily hit you then. Despite his minus one. Since you've done two wounds to him. And he punches you for 22 points. That's one my wound. third wound. Wham! You're staggered. Second uh -huh. attack misses with an eight. Staggered, but still up. Stagger, stagger, crawl, crawl. Chromium Saber starts to vibrate in your arms, Joe. Well, he's got to make a grapple check to do anything. Well, he no, might he be doesn't. able to vibrate. But oh. The question becomes, what does it do? Does that help yeah. him get out of his grapple? I'm not sure what it's doing is the question. Right now, it's not doing anything in this turn. Right, he's just vibrating. Uh, it doesn't it matter. You're going to put him anyway. Yep. <laughs> Snap him in half. Uh, after him would be Gallywas, but he's down so cool steel. Jeez. Instead, punches Kestrel. 
What? Oh, God. That's... Boom! There's a two. And he does 26 points. Oh, oh Kestrel is down. <laughs> he's he's more than down. How many wounds were you at? That's four. I'm dead. Yeah, unless well, you got to roll. I assume. Well, I I could fade it again. I guess I have six well, points left. Yeah, and a four. The two fours nice. in a row. So. I got two left. Sweet. Nice. Cool steel second attack. Oh God! Boom! A three. Gee. Twenty-one. I want, to know where, I want to know. I want to know where he came from and how he was on Kestrel that quick. All right, twenty-one points. That's approach. only. No, that's two wounds. I'm done. It's, it's two wounds. Boom. So... My whole like my whole like chest plating just caves <laughs> in on his fist. I look down and then just yeah. fall over to the side. You've got you. If you spend the fate, it only costs you one. <laughs> Well, what do you mean? He I rolled mean, and fate. he got a one. I rolled a one. I assumed you were rolling your fate. Oh, all right. Cool. So you got one fate left. Thank yep. God. I bide you the round. So, yep. The cool steel. <laughs> you can use your hell? 250 miles, about, miles an hour to get away, but you're probably going to get killed by a laser anyway. <laughs> but, but hey. Yeah. Galley Watts had a token on him from Comfo Ashanti. To summon cool steel if you ran if into trouble. Down. Oh, that's yep. evil. So, so you might want this, um, Kestrel. I don't know. Uh, yeah. So you might want to do the recovery, just in case um, you get hit again. Like it's at this well, point. Well, I'm at two dead, wounds. So. I'm at two wounds. So, can I use right. it in the moment, or do I have to use it? You have to use it now. You have to use it at any moment. You can use it outside your init, but you can't use it once you've been killed. So okay. you, would have to use, you would have to use it. Why now. not? Sure. All right, sure. So I'll I'll take it. So I'm back to zero. Uh I'm I'm gonna check the rule. I just want to make sure I've got it right. Somewhere. Come for Johnny. Come for Johnny. I can't believe it summoned him. That's that's miserable. <laughs> it's like a truck. Well, just it, you... well, it took all, it took like he's... eight of us last time to take <laughs> just him down. And well, he's we, were first, now. we were first. We were zero level heroes, and there were three of us. So yeah, I mean, and he's just using his fists. Well, yeah, because our problem was we could never hurt him. Yeah, we couldn't do right. over like twenty five points. His, his skin was kind of like yours. It was like uh, steel. Well, I I can't do shit for damage. I mean, 1d10 plus 3. It doesn't matter. I mean, he could have a different superpower than you. That's the difference. Yeah. So he could have both the, the armor and nasty hits. Um, her heroic recovery. Uh, level 0 to 2nd, you heal 1 wound and can function for 10 minutes, and you're out a day afterwards. From 3rd to 6th, I think you're 3rd. I don't know what level you are. 3rd, yeah. You heal 2 wounds. You can you can function for 20 minutes, but you're out for 2 days afterwards. But you got 20 more minutes, and you can take those 2 wounds back. Okay, so I'm at 0 wounds then. Yeah. <laughs> he knocks you down, but you're... Your body reforms. <laughs> yeah, and that sort of creepy, like, like, do, 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 kind of. Neb in that creepy nebula kind of way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Snapping arms and joints back into place. Crack, 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 crack. But you'll have to go into, like, some kind of uh, energy hibernation afterwards as you just shut down. Oh, I feel like we're all going to get shut down here, so. Mm -hmm. Well, that was blue right. steel. So that was. Cool steel. Cool that steel. was cool steel. Then it's is it the mopes? Yeah, it's the minions. There's still seven of those. Give me guys. a second. I wish I could just disengage and jump all the minions. Right, but somebody else would have to take on the. Boy, well, anybody's got a better shot than I do. Right. I mean, I could jump him. I had to take him down last time. I could use my sword on him and I can do enough damage, but boy, oh boy. Do, I can't do the damage. 
I mean, Durham, Durham can throw chromium, <laughs> is it chromium, chromium saber into one yeah, of the minions and maybe knock him out, but. Uh, first one shooting Durham and misses with a nine, so it because Mentello is screaming at them to, to hit his, hit yeah. his vulnerable point. Next one yeah. shooting at Durham as well and but gets a he, one. He missed the first and a one. And seven, so it doesn't matter because he can't do enough damage. But to the first him. one missed, so he sh accidentally shot a chromium steel, chromium so saber. saber, chromium. Yeah, Chromium Saber. Uh... <laughs> yes, he did a wound on Chromium Saber. <laughs> you fool! <laughs> you this? fool! Quit blundering! We have this in the bag! Idiots! I only work with idiots! Why must everyone have such primitive brains compared to me? Uh, next up is Indian shooting at Durham again. That's three on him. Five that'll hit, but fourteen points ain't gonna even scratch him. Uh, next one is shooting at Illuminate. Got an eight. Missed you. Too fast. Next one shoots at Starfield. Got oh, a Starfield. seven missed you. I assume. What's yeah, your Starfield. DT? He... Yeah. What's your DT, Starfield? Two. Yeah, he missed you. You could you could try the recovery too, Starfield, if you needed to. Get yourself two wounds back. Okay. I mean, I'm just letting you know. Yeah. Since you're at three right now. The next one would be shooting Kestrel, but he's technically down, so they don't consider him a threat. Uh, that's Kestrel again, damn it. Uh, that, there we go, Red Knight. Three, that will hit. Ooh. Uh, that's going to be... Twenty-three points. That's a wound. <laughs> ah! That's why you got to get rid of those lasers. They're going to put wounds on you. Next one once would be Kestrel, but Kestrel again. They uh, really want Kestrel. Kestrel again. Starfield. The three. Zaps you for 15 points. Yeah, I'm down. I guess you decided not to do it then. <laughs> I can do it whenever I want. That's the point. Yeah, you can't do it after you've been hit, but you could have done it before at any point during the combat. At, at any point, you can heroic recovery. Oh, well, got that's you, important to know. Got I fate. told you that. You told me that. He missed it. Give him a chance. Yeah, Starfield should have some <laughs> well, fate. Oh, true. I'll He's start. got fate, too. Yeah, I've got fate. Do you want to fate the last shot? Yeah, I have to. Okay. Uh, five. Okay. And then you could do the recovery at any point. And I get two wounds back? Yes, but you got, you're functioning for 20 minutes before you collapse. Okay. So next up is Red Knight. Can I make an awareness check to see, uh, to use my blade, to look through my blade at the elemental plane and see if that shield is down? Yes, you may. And you can see that it looks like it's almost down, but it's just barely up. Illuminix, just a couple more. I think it'll be down. And after I say that, then I'm going to throw two more what? attacks. What? What will be down? Them. What are you doing? <laughs> against the minions. And the first Stop attack them. is a... Stop them! <laughs> the first one is a one, uh, but a ten, so it's no conver uh, no special. But I do 11 points. Mm. Okay. And the next one's a, that dropped a, one. A three, and then that's 12 points. Dropped another one. There are now five minions left. Yep. So you said uh, 
what was it? Uh, Chromium Blade is the guy who summoned Cool Steel. No, no, no. Galley, Galley Wasp. Wasp did. When he, he, dropped, he, went he, down had, a, he had a token blade. from Kampo Ashanti that as soon as he went down, it summoned the undead Cool Steel. It's the undead Cool Steel. I'm wondering if we could like destroy that token or something. Maybe. I don't know. Unless the token breaks when it, when he comes. I have no yeah. idea. It's a, it's a thought. But you aren't right near, near him, so right. the only one near him is uh Kestrel, who's also right. on the ground. But he is he un, unbeknownst to them, he is not down. Right. He he's not really down. down. He's just... <laughs> he's uh, he's getting he's gonna get up. Must rebooting back out. Yeah, exactly. It's Terminator, he's rebooting. A buffering. <laughs> uh but star cool pushed, steel notices last time, so you don't even have an attack this round yeah unfortunately uh it's durham's uh yeah durham you're the yep. next after i'm me. gonna i'm gonna throw this joe boo about somebody <laughs> one of the minions yep or cool steel throw him to cool steel. can't do enough damage with him though probably not nope. i'll throw out one of the minions so what is that a, still unarmed or that's a throw. Uh, it would be throw, unfortunately. If you don't have throw, that's your naked physical. Max three. <laughs> Can I use him as a melee? You'd have against. To. Yeah. <laughs> They're using lasers, though. I'm not sure how. Yeah, that, yeah. You'd have well, to close with them. What's how? How close is the closest one? Because if he has eye physical, he can move twenty five feet and then smack somebody. Well, I've got. It'd be 12, so it'd be 60, so I can move 30 feet. See, so if you can tangle him up with a... Uh, yeah, you could probably reach one and beat him with him. <laughs> I think that's what I'll do. Use him as a giant club. <laughs> do you have, uh, do you have <laughs> melee? Yes, I do. At eight. I mean, but that's not, a, that's a melee one. Melee is different from... Uh, I, I got a I got melee mark. Okay. He's got me. He can he can pick shit up and use it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I rolled a one. Yeah. Uh... Chased by a three. Oh crap! Uh, roll, roll your. Uh... That's a six. I don't know what that is. Uh, What's six? a six? six. I'll check it. Uh, six is one d ten damage. Uh, stunned one round. And... What is the damage from a, a big gigantic well, it'd club? It would be 2d10 <laughs> because it's a two-handed club. Right. So you do 3d10 there, Joe. I'm thinking... Plus whatever your strength modifier is. Yeah, plus three. There's 10, 8, 18, 21, 24 points. I think you just killed him. Bam! Yeah! Now does uh the club it, take damage it, too? No, it does not do anything to Chromium <laughs> Saber. What? <laughs> Absolutely he's, shit. He's vibrating right now. He's Leave getting ready the to next do solo. something to Joe. Is that uh, the end of the round? Unless there's more yeah, than... Yeah, that is the end of the round. So the top of the order, than one in the, uh, Unless there's more than one in the five-foot area. No, that's a me that's a melee attack and it's a two D ten melee attack, so it's one Yeah, attack. but I've got whirlwind attack. So if there's more than one guy in the area. Call out or even. I'll be even. Five odd. There's nope. no one else there. Close then. So it's back to Kestrel? Yep. Um Kestrel, you if you're up, you might want to want to move away from <laughs> you cool steel. steel. You think and cool and steel. To just take out a couple of you could move fast doing light attacks and maybe hit a couple of those guys at 250 miles an hour. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So Mark, how many can I hit? Just one per attack or uh, yeah, uh, I mean, you still only, you still only get your one. You still only get your two attacks, but yeah. Right. Or so can does I he do, have but... awareness? Does Kestrel have awareness? Yes, I, I do. He does. I'll you let you try. make that roll. If you make that roll, I'll let you attack two. 
you'll find well, I was two saying, that are use close your awareness. To use your awareness to see if you can see if that little token has been broken. Well, he may not know it though. Yeah, I don't right, know what because Starfield didn't ex, didn't didn't call it out to him to yeah tell him about it. Like I had to tell Illuminix to try to try to take down the black barrier. Yeah. So if it's not um, something that Kestrel came up with, then probably not. But he could get two attack. He could get could two. Could I? Could I use my speed? So so Durham still has chromium ding dong as a saber. weapon. <laughs> yeah, <that's> saber. <laughs> could I use my speed to like instead of attacking to like run through the minions and gather them all together into one pile? <laughs> no. Why? You're not the flat. You're not. Are the we flat. superheroes or not? <laughs> like I'm. I, I'll sacrifice my attack. You can grab to... one. You can grab one. Maybe and two. Kill him, huh? But yeah. And I don't know what he's going to do with this vibration. So you're better off probably just hitting you, him. You probably have a, and you probably have. A, you'd have to use unarmed, which I don't think you have, because you'd have to grapple him to grab him. I do have on arm. It's actually technically higher than my melee. Okay. But I would think the max you could get would be two, one yep. in each arm. Right. But so could I grab two and put them together with like another one or two others that were standing close? No. You could grab yeah. two. Uh, fine. I roll the dice and attack. Is Meteor still standing? Or you can kill two of these laser guys. Yeah. All right, I'll kill two laser guys. All right, that's a two on the first one. Is that a crit? No. 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 But okay. that is a hit. That's a hit. So for him, um, with my 2d10 light attack, I got eight. Plus seven is 15. Plus two is 17. Dropped him. And without breaking stride, I get a three. And that's a three... Plus four is seven, plus two is nine. Uh, did not drop him, but did a wound on him. All right. Well, there's oh, cool. all, all you see is like red mist, and then the guy falls. <laughs> dude, just like, like, You're not supposed to off. kill him, Kestrel. I just explained that. Kestrel. Kestrel. This um, defies logic. Make, on make my an planet, awareness roll, enemies Scott. down for good. An awareness roll? Yeah. Uh, 10. No, I did not make an awareness roll. Okay. Uh, everyone, uh, I, Illuminix and Starfield, I'll let make one as well. Durham's too busy using the club. <laughs> Kestrel's too busy. Uh, I made it with a three. Uh, you can uh, see there. there's a news camera guy filming no. everything <laughs> it's oh, just those slaughtering people <laughs> we're on tv guys does this planet want to be saved or not <laughs> open murder who is kestrel why is he killing people <laughs> news at 11 <laughs> After Kestrel is a Luminix, she can still yes. try to take down the. Uh, and I, I guess, yeah, I would, I would pump more repents into that if you can. Yeah, um, I'm. I don't know if I'm going to do it yet because I don't know how it works. But how does pushing with two attacks work? You could only get one, one attack. Okay, so if I push, but you add one. a d10 to the damage, and then you right. don't get attacks next round either. So you'd be giving up. If you're yeah, using a light attack, it. you would give up three attacks basically to do one. Right. Yeah. Not not worth it. Okay. Not not on this. Anyway, maybe on something else. Okay. So I'm just gonna do my regular attacks with the uh, repent pumped into it. Okay. Make your first attack. Anything other than a ten hits. Uh, that is an eight. Yep. <laughs> Damage is a nine. You hear a sound like breaking glass. But you don't see anything. the The field seems to waver a bit. But other than that, okay, I'm gonna yell out that uh, I feel like that may have done something. Don't know what it was. What? What have you done? What have you I done? I don't know. I don't know what I did. <laughs> you could. You've got a second attack. You could finish off the guy that Kestrel hurt. Yeah, I'm gonna 
turn that second dagger to a, a minion. That was a four. That hits. And that was yep. a 13. Plus if it has repent in it. Uh, that dropped Yeah, because you already charged it. Yeah, <laughs> he'll wake up and not even be a criminal for the next uh, yeah, seven, seven months. Seven months. <laughs> he can do no, no, no crime for seven months. No crime for seven months. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm out. <laughs> I've seen the light. I'm telling Marcellus oh. today. I'm through. <laughs> can't just tell Marcellus you're out. All right. Who's after Illuminix? I think it's them. Yes, it is. <laughs> and Tello's angry. He shoots at Red Knight and hits with a three. So you must make a save, at, physical save at minus one. Hmm. I made it with a three. Okay. You feel your whole body shaking. But you I don't me. like that. <laughs> Curse you! Die! Why won't you die? Because <laughs> I'm already dead, but I'm not going to tell you that. Uh, next up is Meteor. Time for you to go to sleep, Starfield. Wait a minute. Did Starfield <laughs> get to go? Starfield hasn't gotten to go. So he pushed. Yeah, you pushed. Oh, that's right. I skipped my attack. Right, but you should have gone before Meteor this time, right? Because you didn't go last round. Yeah, I mean, I, I know I go before Meteor. Is it... Is it Starfield goes at 11. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you skipped He should have gone before He should have gone... Before. Before yeah, Metallic. he should have gone. He should have gone before Metal. So it's Starfield's turn. Yeah, what are you gonna do, Starfield? Push uh, I'm gonna hit. just no. I'm not gonna push because I'm gonna try for two chances at a one. Because even if I push, I can't hurt him. You did hurt him with your last push, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he that's did. because he you had plus eight. eight points. Yeah. You can take you <laughs> can take a burn wound technically, get the CCV back, and then yep, uh, use it all all twelve points. You're gonna go out, go out like a grizzly. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. And this is a push. Pushing plus 12. A one. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. An eight. No. But I got the one. Yeah. How many, how many fate do you have? Five. Oh. I was gonna say, is it, is it worth using the fate to confirm? <laughs> Uh, he's probably gonna need that fate to keep him probably alive. Probably not. <laughs> so right. it's it's three d ten plus fourteen. Right. Ten nine four nineteen twenty three and fourteen. Thirty seven. Damn. Thirty seven meteor. That's two more <laughs> wounds on him. Thirty seven. You see the purple aura is just flashing <laughs> off him like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> He's insanely mad now. <laughs> but he can't hey, do you, anything. Put four, you put four wounds on Meteor, Starfield. That's not bad. I mean, yeah. that, nope. that's pretty impressive. That's pretty damn good. He's he's at least at a minus to hit me. True so enough. Might, minus two. Eights might miss. So it is now Meteor's it's turn. Easy. He's at minus two. And oh, what's your DT, two. Brent? Two. two, so he's at four overall. So he needs a five or less to hit you. And he got a six. <laughs> nice. nice. And a five, exactly what he needed. Well, that's the end of me. <laughs> well, wait, you're at... I'm at you were three at... Points. But, so you, you I thought you did the recovery. Thing? I did. So that puts you to one. Then you yeah. burned a two. So you're at two wounds. So I'm at two wounds. Yes. So he did 26 points, Brent. Okay, I'm at three wounds. Yeah, you're still up. If he would have done 27, that would have wounded you. If he would have hit you with that <laughs> other punch, he probably would have put you down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chromium Saber is next. All He's of a sudden, he turns liquid and 
totally surrounds Durham. What? Oh, no. That's suffocation. That's not good. That can kill Durham. We need those rules. I'm going to look that up. <laughs> this is like touching the mirror in the Matrix. Right? That's, Next that's... up is Cool Steel. Who sees He's that Kestrel up. is now up. Yeah, but he ran away, remember? Uh, yeah, he did. So yeah, 200, 250 miles an hour. He turns towards you, Scott. Well, I'm cool. flying. I don't think he can hit me. Uh, you see he bunches up and jumps. <laughs> what a lunatic. <laughs> and he misses. So. <laughs> Wolf, you see the hand just barely misses your boot. <laughs> he tried to pull me down the bastard. Yeah. He's going <laughs> to pull you down, slam you on the ground, then just beat you to death. Just worry you. Uh, the last two of the minions. Uh, look around, seeing that they are the only ones left. And take off running. <laughs> Smart. 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 What are you doing? Come back. I'm shooting you, fools. That robot is killing us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It. It's cutting heads off. <laughs> Red mist everywhere, man. I didn't <laughs> sign up for that. I signed up for superheroes. We kill them. They just knock us out for a little while. They put us in prison. <laughs> Said superheroes, not murder bots. <laughs> I am right. a murder. So it so is back to the top of the order. It's Kestrel. I don't think so. After that, that is should Red be bottom Knight. of the order. Oh yeah, sorry. After that is Red Knight. Uh, I'm going to make my two. I'm going to go 250 miles an hour with the blade, uh, jumping through the. Um, uh, light plane and attack Mentallo. You're attacking Mentallo and not the machine. I can. I'll attack the machine with the blade. Yeah, and I'll even push. I've got to stop it from Whatever creating a fault do. line here. Yes, the ground is shaking harder, so it is your attack. All right. I assume I probably don't need much, but I got a five, which beats it by four. Yes, you do. So you hit. All right. So I'm going to do 40, 10 plus 5 on the push. Holy shit. And it cost me 3 CCV. So I've, I, hold on. I got to keep track of because I've d gone through the plane twice. It's just one time I was rebuffed. Puts me at 6 CCV. Okay. All right. I do 10, 8, 8, 26. And 329 plus 5. 34 points. As I drag the suck. sun sliver blades directly through it. Probably you needed to, to do 33 in order to knock it out. You knocked nice. out the Mentello's machine. <laughs> nice. What? <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Does that mean the the shield comes down? No, the shield does still does not come down, but you have destroyed his machine. And you're right. in there with him. Yeah, but I pushed, so I'm out of it. I don't uh, have any attacks next round. Uh, Illuminix at, or no, Kestrel at 12. Or no, Durham. At Durham, yeah. What what can I do? He, he said he surrounded me. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, buddy. You can you can you don't take damage for a number of rounds equal to half your physical. So six rounds. So six rounds, and but after that you start taking wounds. And he's completely liquid. He he's liquid metal. He surrounded you. Yeah. Throw yourself into the shield. <laughs> That's an interesting thought, if, Kestrel. He can't see anything, though. Everything's pitch black. Oh, yeah. Huh. But he knows what direction he was facing, right? Could he do, like, an awareness check? At minus two. 
So I sure you have awareness? Or just stand there grunting. I got awareness of six. So you need a four less. Hey, Scott, use your uh, thing to roll that. I want to <laughs> be fair. I want to be fair. Okay. Eight. <laughs> no. You, yeah, we're not using cameras. So. in the wrong direction. We're not using cameras, so. Right. So basically, that's your attack is because you're trying yeah. to get to the field. You just go in the wrong direction. I'm just, I'm just trying to find something to smack him against or smack something right. or. So you're wandering around with it. All right. You could After just that, jump it's... up in the air and like belly flop him. Next up is Kestrel. Kestrel. So there are no minions left because they fled, unless you wanted to hunt them down for some and take their heads. <laughs> Come back. Look what I have. <laughs> He's just got the heads. Two minion heads. I uh yeah, you know, so I'm gonna run towards Durham. I see this like struggling form with the metal all over him. Yep. And I'm going to see if I can sort of surgically remove some uh -huh. pieces of um, chromium saber. Well, here's a question. Because, uh, Kestrel, we know you can vibrate at high rates of speed. I can. And chromium vibrated to turn himself metal. Yeah. Could you counter that with, a, with an alternating vibration? Match. Somehow match it. Yeah, match the frequency and, and make, make him it solid. He, he like he like shatters or something and falls into pieces. Like I don't I suppose know. I could try, or he might just materialize back into metal. Right, but it would get it off of him. Yeah, but it, and it might get it off get it off of him in pieces, which would be cool. Is that awareness? What do you, What do you think? Um, or like an intelligence check? Yeah, I don't know. Like in terms of would I know how to do it or could I do it successfully? Could you do it successfully? Athletics? Uh, yeah. I would I would say more likely a mental save because you're trying to come up with Very true. the exact like frequency. That. All right. That's legit. My mental is six. Scott, you want to roll it? Yeah, I can roll it. <laughs> Three. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're able to match the frequency. Chromium Saber plops off Durham, who's now <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> frantically. That was a nice move, Kestrel. Nice. Yeah. That was a good, good idea, Red Knight. All right, start <laughs> punching, Durham. It, it's, uh, he can't do anything right now. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Illuminix's it's turn. Oh, wait, what, what form is Chromium Saber in right now? He's back like in his... Puddle? No, he's back in his metal body form. Ah. So Illuminix, Illuminix, you've got an undead, uh, whatever, uh, cr uh cool, cool steel, steel. undead. You could throw holy mm. light into him. Yeah, yeah, that's and it. purge him. <laughs> Purging might do extra damage. I don't. It might it might make him go back in the amulet? I don't know, but yeah, get rid of him. Oh, well, I can't do a repent because I don't have enough CCB unless I take a burn wound. Well, Which you can take a burn wound. <laughs> might be worth it. Yeah, yeah I don't have a lot of So, so. yeah, let's do that. Illuminix, get rid of that zombie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because right. he's about ready to visit havoc upon all of you. Oh, yeah, he is. He's nasty. I don't want him around. Time to be a paladin. Show <laughs> cool, your holy Steve. symbol. All right. So that first roll Come was for a six. Shanti. The six hit. Uh, what's your? She's got no, it does yeah. not. Okay, second is a two. That will hit. Okay. So, so that is a thirteen. No, twelve. He has to make a mental save in order to keep at my, at minus six is his mental yes. save. Wow, okay. Because <laughs> she's seventh level. She's using heavy. Uh he fails, so you see him disappear. Boom. Yep. Nice. Oh, nice Illuminix. No. That saved our bacon. Yeah, I did. That's beauty. Beauty right there. He would have walked us. Starfield, it's your time. turn. Uh that's put that meteor down. 
he pushed last round with everything ah, he had. Yeah. Oh. So it, it goes back still at minus to two. You may Maybe have stopped me this time, Red Knight, but I shall return with an even better plan. You see, he touches something on his belt, and him and 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 uh, meteor, meteor, chromium saber, and the downed galley wasp all disappear. Oh. <laughs> galley wasp is dead. <sighs> he can take those parts home. Well, the, the Fomu with Johnny or whatever his name is can bring him back undead. If he, if he Confo, Confo Ashanti, yes. Yeah, he's a he's a, a voodoo. Voodoo. He's a, he's a dark. Guy. He's a dark dark sorcery practitioner yeah he's horrible he's a necromancer basically and look at we the need time. to take care of him then we can stop fighting these guys again yeah that's a good point joe that's look a little that give a what that's that's scott timing there yeah 658 that, that'll work or i'm sorry uh, for you, 958 but yep. yeah yeah nice very good very good How's our experience in uh, Faded? For that? Everyone gets, I'll give everyone two Fate for that because that was a hell of a fight. No nice. Worries. And what level are you guys? Third. third. We're mixed. So third. two people are third and everyone else is seventh. So you wow. probably have to give, uh, the two people are third are going to go up, but it depends. Yeah, on how much yeah but they're going to stop cold right after that. Uh, uh, where's my stuff? I have to go through here, I guess. Yes. <laughs> That's what, what I like about what heroes, coming that? up with interesting ways to try to defeat the enemy, not just using your <laughs> regular powers. That's the point. Yeah, because because Meteor had Brent. He had it. Oh had God, cold. yeah. <laughs> Meteor was probably like, no, because yeah, he was, they, he was, it that. was his chance to take out Starfield. He's gonna be raging somewhere at me. <laughs> pulling him out of that. I had him. We had to do a strategic retreat. <laughs> I like that Kestrel's becoming like alien robot Punisher. <laughs> like a Terminator. The, I can see the evening news. Well, we've went from a... Uh, 2000. Vit I'll, I'll, I'll make it 2,500. Okay, 2,500. So what is what is level four top out at, though? Five. Level well, well, four is 500, yes. Are you top at Man. What did you say it was, Mark? 2500. 2000. Yeah, 2500. I got 2750. And what um what do we get to do at level 4? 2750 is sixth level, Joe. Well, I'm already seventh level, so Yeah, so you don't have you didn't have the right experience. Your experience should have been before this one after our last adventure should have been 4 4250. It was sixty two fifty, and then we got another twenty five hundred, so we're at eight thousand, which would be eighth. Okay, eight thousand seven fifty. Yeah, that's eight. Which so we're, it's, we're it's eight thousand. Eight thousand. Eight thousand even, even. Yeah. And uh, we can update it. I'll end it here on the um, recording. <laughs>